Two different people have lost over $700,000 in crypto over like the last 24 hours. So you guys can take this video as your sign to get off your lazy asses and protect yourself from these issues because it's so easy to neglect it, but it's also so easy just to get it sorted. So we're going to discuss this and let's just jump straight into this. We can see here. As we can see here, billionaire Mark Cuban confirms $870,000 worth of crypto stolen from his MetaMask wallet. Now we have this other YouTuber here losing $700,000 worth of crypto. And these are basically very similar things that happened. Their hot wallet got hacked, right? It's, uh, God, it's something that happens, right? Basically, people can get hold of your private keys or they get hold of your seed phrases or you have the same passwords and things like that. And we need to protect ourselves because most likely someone who's watching this video, if you don't protect yourselves, you're gonna fall, to, you're gonna fall prey to one of these hacks. So let's discuss exactly how we can protect ourselves. So I made this thread just this morning over on X. We can see exactly how we can avoid this happening to us. So first of all, as you guys of course already know, you gotta use a hardware wallet, right? Use a hardware wallet. I don't know how many times I have to say this sort of thing, but, Essentially, this is how you protect yourself. Number one, protect yourself. Get your money, if it's not staked and you don't believe in a certain exchange, get your money off the exchange and get it onto cold storage. Buy your, stop this video right now and go and buy yourself a cold storage ledger, all right? Stop being lazy and just do it. Get all of your money off the exchanges, get all of your money off MetaMask and put it into cold storage. Now, the key to cold storage, a lot of people are confused by this, I was confused by this, is it's not actually holding your physical money, right? Your, your Bitcoin and whatever is not on the ledger or whatever it is that you're gonna use. It's a way of protecting your seed phrase without having your seed phrase popping up around on the ether of the internet, right? On top of that, every time there's a transaction that's made, you have to confirm the transaction using the physical buttons. And that's how we stop someone hacking into your MetaMask, for example, and then being able to do anything. Because they won't be able to do anything because you need to confirm the transaction physically. All right, guys? And it, it doesn't take very long, but even myself, I know, I just can't be bothered sometimes to do it. But just do it. Get your money off exchanges and MetaMask. Get yourself a cold storage wallet. I personally use Ledger. You guys are welcome to use whatever it is. Next up, use a permission revoker. When using decentralized apps like Uniswap or OpenSea, you have to grant them the permission to spend your tokens and NFTs. This is called a token approval. If you don't revoke these approvals, the decentralized app can actually spend your tokens forever. So revoke cash is a good tool to use that to revoke all these permissions. Just do this periodically, go in and revoke the permissions just in case something happens. All right, guys? Now, that's obviously to be used for your MetaMask and if we scroll down, you can use also a contract scanner. D.Fi is a good contract scanner tool that you guys can get a quick rundown when you do look up new investments or tokens. So be careful for that. And the most important part of this is due diligence, right? Double check the websites, double check every transaction, know you're getting in, know what you're getting into when you're buying a, you know, a shit coin, guys, be careful. And don't use the same password for everything and use two-factor authentication, guys. Don't use the same password for everything, all right? Because if someone, say, they get hold of a password for your Gmail or your YouTube or whatever it is, right? And you use that password for an exchange, you use that password for MetaMask, they can get everything. So don't, don't be an idiot, don't be lazy, go and change your passwords now. Never have the same, I don't have the same password for any website. Any one website is completely different. They're never written down anywhere. Never write your passwords down. Never, ever, ever write your secret uh, seed phrase ever down in digital form. Never. Write it physically, put it in a safety deposit box, hide it somewhere, whatever you guys wanna do, but never ever write it down. Don't write it in your notes. Don't send it on a WhatsApp message. Don't send it anywhere, all right guys? Because this is how people get hacked, right? And I'm, I really don't want any of you to be hacked. Everyone who's watching this video right now has made it this far. We've made it through this bear market and the guy on YouTube, I feel for him, man. Like he was saying he was using that money for certain things and you know, He'll bounce back from it. I'm sure he's using it as a learning lesson, something that I've had to do many times. 
I've had many similar scenarios this where I've lost significant amounts of money, but you've got to take it as a learning lesson. But with that said, guys, let's protect ourselves. Let's not be lazy. And you've made it this far in a bear market. Don't let something stupid like this you know, destroy all of those future gains. Because we're gonna go into another bull market eventually. Maybe it's tomorrow, maybe it's in two years, maybe it's in three years, whatever. We're gonna go into it, and the last thing you ever want is to lose that money. All right, that was my Sunday PSA. I saw all this happening over on Twitter and YouTube, and I just, I needed to make a video to let you guys know. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this. Do also let me know if this was the kick up your ass that you needed to get everything onto a cold storage. Just let me know, we can have a little chat about it. I'd love to hear from you guys, and just do it right now get yourself some cold storage change your passwords protect yourself now don't leave it until it's too late and i'll see you guys in the next one